Hey everybody, it's Jason Fox. I'm Joe Kaiser. And we're the Madrona Group with Donald Scott Real Estate. And today we want to talk about one of our uh, latest purchases. Hey guys, it's the Madrona Group Real Estate team. So Joe, um, we recently sold a home to uh, the Morrow family. Uh, tell us a little bit about the um, people involved. Okay, well I got a call from my friend who is the daughter-in-law of the buyer. Um, and she wanted to find a home that was close to them and relocate their mother-in-law down into the Briar area so they could be closer. And they called you with a listing that they wanted to view? Yeah, that was it. It was really random. They just, uh, they found a house they liked. I didn't know that they weren't really looking, um, but they saw this house and thought, you know, this might work for, for our mom. And so asked me to show it to them. And so since they wanted to see this home in Briar, we, you know, Joe, we talk about being buyer ready day one. Right, right. Uh, obviously they were ready to buy. Yeah, well, actually, Sometimes you don't know when you get those calls. So I was in the area and I agreed to meet them over there. And uh, you know, it was just on the tip of their radar to buy. They weren't quite ready to buy. And tell us a little bit about this Briar listing. Was it um, in high demand? It was a really cute Rambler. Had really nice setback from the road and it had been all updated. So yeah, it was in high demand. Okay, so we got um, a situation where they like the Rambler. Um, they want to buy. It's for a mother-in-law. We got a lot of moving pieces here. Mm -hmm. uh, so what happened? Well, I originally met um, the daughter-in-law and her daughter at the house and showed it to them. And uh, we did a little video walkthrough and, and sent it to the mother-in-law. And, and that got the mother-in-law super excited and she couldn't get down for the next day or so. Mm. And uh, so we set the appointment for her to come down and... It's old. It did. Yeah. Yeah. So with this new knowledge, then did you go ahead and take the steps necessary to get them ready? I did, because nobody likes to make that call, but we just took it as an opportunity to say, okay, what's gonna happen when a home comes is we need to be ready, they go quick. And then something uh, that happens from time to time happened. Lo and behold, it came back to market. Uh -huh. Now wait, isn't that a bad sign though when it comes back to market? You know, no, it's an opportunity to investigate. And that's a big part of being an agent is, you know, we make those calls. I mean, we called the listing agent right away and figured out what was going on. It was simply a case of cold feet. They had inspected the house. The house was good. If something comes up on an inspection, the seller has to report it. So for me to call that agent, if anything really bad came up, he would have to disclose that to us. That has to go on the Form 17. It now. does, so yeah. it's public knowledge. And now that it's come back on the market, we probably got some time to kind of think about it, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, oftentimes that's the case because what Jason asked about, you know, people think it's stigmatized, but there's not enough inventory out there and agents are getting a little sharper. And so lo and behold, we get our offer in and I'm asking for an update and the update was, we have two other offers at hand. Jeez. So what did we do? I mean, just, uh, hey, let's just throw in our best offer and hope that it works. Yep, but just seal it with a kiss and cross our finger. No. <laughs> Honestly, that's where more investigation comes in. I want to know what I'm competing against. So I know how to leverage my client's assets. And one of the very simplest questions that you can ask, and it goes over a long ways, is what's important to the sellers? It's not always price. Price plays a huge factor, but it's not always just price. And we figured out kind of what is motivating the seller. Mm -hmm. We got some excited buyers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what happened? The waiting game. <laughs> and you can ask Jason, I am not good at waiting. Once I have that offer, I'm trying to think of any reason to talk to the agent. But he came back to us a couple of times and you know, he tried to get us to bump our price, but I knew that we were in a very equitable position. I was able at that time to really reiterate the fact that we are gonna likely close quicker than the other offer and really put that into the listing agent's mind. Well, let's look at that too and let's break it down. So, and we haven't talked about this, but we were a cash buyer. Mm -hmm. um, they've sold the home once now and already yeah. experienced a seven day lag yeah. or whatever that time period was. So now the cash and the quick close is probably pretty enticing. Well that, and we got lucky in this case too because the purchase that they were making was contingent on the sale of the home we're offering mm -hmm. on. And so, you know, there's two things that are important to a seller and sometimes they don't realize they're equally as important. Obviously the highest net amount that they can get but the ability to close. So since we had the ability to close, we didn't have to worry about raising the price. Yeah. Hey everybody, thanks for watching us and be sure to visit us at www.themadronagroup.com or give us a call, 206-351-0543. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.